Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to remind you that the football field, the football area, parking lot, and the area around the school is a smoke-free zone. So please refrain from smoking. Thank you. It is the junior's ball, second and eight from the 40, 39 yard line. It's first and 10 from the 39 yard line. On the double reverse, Sarah Hopkins around the end. That's going to bring up a second down. Ring it takes a snap. Ring of Simber who's brought down in the backfield. By number 15. He 
same thing around the outside, brought down to the backfield. Ball's going to be down at the 30-yard line, where it's going to be fourth and forever for the seniors. Double reverse around the outside. Yeah, the Tron around the outside. Brought down by number 16 in the backfield. We're having a real hard time with names tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. Juniors are going to take over, first and ten, from the 37-yard line. Makai Ash is in a quarterback. Going to bring up a second and long on the 20-yard line, the 40-yard line, I apologize. Makai Ash with the attempted quick pitch around the outside. Makai Ash with a quick pitch to the backfield, incomplete. Going to bring up a fourth down for the juniors. us to the end of the first quarter. Where the seniors are going to take over first and ten. First and goal, or first and ten from the 38. Seniors trying to get something going here. Olivia Kirky takes a snap on the big double reverse. Taylor Kay brings it around the outside. Megan Kenny. Emily Williams on the stop for the juniors. Gonna be close to a first down, waiting for the signal. It is a first down. The official of the black hat said so, it's a first down. Olivia Kirky takes a snap, hands it off to number 15 around the end. Number 15 up the middle. Number 15 could go all the way to that for a senior touchdown. Brianna Howard for the touchdown. Brianna Howard for the touchdown. Brianna 
for the touchdown for the seniors. Where they will attempt a two point conversion. Olivia Turkey's pass and incomplete. The seniors will now kick to the juniors with your score, seniors six, juniors zero. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your cheerleaders doing their push-ups. As they push off eight when they only have to do six. Ashley packed a kick for the seniors. Kayla <laughs> Waringa around the outside on the return, still on her feet. Still. Put down at the 37 yard line. By number 15. Brought down by Taylor Bernstein. Taylor Smith along the outside, cuts it back up the middle. Still on her feet. Brought down on the 33 yard line. Brought down by Peck and Rec, Ashley Peck. Right, it's going to be first and ten for the juniors on the 35 yard line. Katie Rikowski. Around the outside, cuts it back up the middle. Brought down by Kaylee Corcoran. Where it's going to be second and long for the juniors. Stopped in the backfield by Taylor Bernstein. Brought down by Kelsey Connor. Down by Big L. It'll be first down for the seniors on the junior 48 yard line. Seniors are on the outside. It's going to be 
second and three. Second and two. Second and three. For the senior. Grace Walter also on the outside. Looking for some room. Pushed out of bounds by number 16. Brought down by Olivia Kirk. Grace Walter House takes a snap, makes a handoff, cuts it up the middle, cuts it up the outside, still out of feet, cuts back up the middle, headed for the end zone, cuts down. Making the score, seniors 12, junior 0, the two point conversion. Walter House throws a pass. Up and caught. For two. By one of the Green Twins. Number 15. Sir Amanda Green. Fuck, Mom. So 14 13 left in the half. Makes your score 14 seniors. Zero for the juniors. Ashley Peck kick. Remember to stick around at halftime where we will be crowning our king for 2014. Next kick is going to be down around the 31 yard line where the juniors will take over first and 10. quarterback. We're on the outside. Simmons are on the outside. Neal's got wheels. Takes it around the outside. Picks up some yardage for the juniors. It's going to be second and five. 308 left and a half. Neil, a pitches. Katie Wachowski around the outside. Looking up the middle. Wachowski to the end zone. Touchdown! KK Fish on the touchdown for the juniors. Making your score, seniors 14, juniors 6. The juniors will attempt their two-point conversion.
Kayla has the football looking to pass. She has someone open the back of the end zone just a bit high. With two minutes left in the half, Skinner scores seniors 14, juniors 6. And the juniors will now kick off to the seniors. Ice KK Fish to kick for the juniors. With 52 seconds left, the seniors will take over, first and 10, from their own three-yard line. Kirky takes a step. Jesse Magowski around the outside, cuts it up the outside. She is still on her way. Actually, she's brought down back at the 32 yard line. Brought down by Maya Gossett. Oh my gosh. Kirky takes a snap, hands it off. <laughs> Brought down by Jamie Sterling. Sterling. Time out called by the seniors. With 10 seconds left in the half. on the handoff. Brianna Howard on the carry. That's going to be it for the end of the second quarter. Your score is seniors 14, junior 6. For your halftime presentation, I would like to hand the microphone over to Dr. Bethany George. Welcome everyone to the 2014 Homecoming Kings Coronation. Before we begin, we have several people to thank. First and foremost, please everyone give a big round of applause for Ms. Becky Stacaro. She worked so hard in all of the student council activities and especially this week, so we thank her very much. We also thank all the students of student council for all of the activities they are planning. The student council worked so hard 
planning these events, blood drives, charitable community service, and Lyndon is very proud of our student council. Uh, the student council would always also like to thank, first of all, the class sponsors. The freshman class sponsors are Ben Cox and Amy Messer. Sophomore class sponsors are Cam DeGainer and Carly Powell. Junior class sponsors are Julie Peake and Becky Draper. And the senior class sponsors are Robin Durant and Courtney Pintek. These teachers work very hard. Please give them a round of applause. We would also like to thank John Bennett for providing music at the pep rally tomorrow and homecoming halftime. We would like to thank Carol Delata and Todd Skinner for also helping with the pep rally. We'd like to thank Laura and Tom Stars for supplying the pig for the Kiss the Pig contest. A thanks goes out to Brian Vandevenger for announcing at the homecoming halftime and all of the teachers who participated in Spirit Days and Pep Rally. Also, we need to thank our coaches. First of all, the senior coaches. The English Department Dream Team of Dan Schneider, Courtney Pintek, Brian Vandeventer, Anthony DeLeon, and Elaine Thomas. Thanks also to the junior coaches, Greg Crane, Brian Confer, and Zach Darling. The referees tonight are Russ Soselski, Ben Cox, Ed Colito, and Mike Engelter. Give them a round of applause. Our announcer up here in the press box is Mr. Brett Smith. The scoreboard is being run by Kathy North and Paula Getterman. Our spotters up here are Nathan Wagner, Anna Stars, Claudia Beaudry, and Morgan Fitch. Linesmen, Tanner North, Tanner Castro, and Jake Zorn. Now for our coronation. To start, we have the freshman representatives. Representing the class of 2018 is Hunter Babcock. Hunter, according to my notes, is escorted by Gina Reed and Tom Odom, but I think someone's missing. Hunter plays both football and baseball. He says he can't live without Netflix, and his favorite social media is Instagram. If he could create a hashtag that describes him, it would be hashtag Batman. <laughs> Our next freshman representative is Carson Birchmeyer. Carson is escorted by Christine and Don Birchmeyer. He plays varsity soccer and travel baseball. Carson says that his older brother Cole is his hero because he looks up to him and admires him for being such a great role model. One of his favorite quotations is by Mother Teresa who said, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. In fact, if he created a hashtag to describe himself, it would just be hashtag just smile. He wants to give a shout out to his older sister, Brianna Howard, and he says, go senior. Next, welcome the class of 2017. Our first sophomore representative is Sawyer Benj. He is escorted by Brack and Aaron Benj. Sawyer plays football and baseball and is involved in his youth group. His hero is his dad because he knows what to do and how to get it done. One thing he cannot live without is his family because he knows that they have his back. Next, we have Cole Sarkin. He is escorted by Linda Sarkin. Cole plays base basketball and baseball, and his favorite social media site is Twitter because he likes to know what's going on in people's lives. His dad is his hero because he is, ne he is never down on himself and always knows how to help the family. If Cole could create a hashtag to describe himself, it would be hashtag fun because he is fun to be around. Now for our juniors. First representing the class of 2016 is Austin Lapin. 
He is escorted by Brian and Rebecca Latham. Austin plays soccer for Linden's varsity team, and he would like to remind everyone that Linden beat Fenton on Monday 5-0. He follows Twitter and says that his friends and family are the things he can't live without. He also says that his father is his best friend and hero because he is always there for him and has raised him right. Austin wants to thank both his mom and dad for all the blessings in his life. Our second junior representative is Chris Martin. Chris is escorted by Glenn and Evelyn Martin. Chris plays baseball and the drums and values his car because he can go anywhere he wants. Chris also loves music. His grandparents are his heroes because they are there for him every day. And his favorite quote is, life is short, be kind. That's great advice for us all, Chris. Next we have our special representative from Spain, Marcos Palomino Tolerano. He is escorted by Teresa Callard Moore. We're so happy to have you here as an exchange student and we hope you enjoy your year at Linden. Marcos plays soccer and his hero is soccer player Fernando Torres. He follows Twitter and claims that his phone is the one thing he can't live without. Please give Marcos another round of applause as a welcome to Linden. Now for our seniors. One of these young men will be crowned king in just a few minutes. To lead off for the class of 2015, we have Zach Appleberg. Zach is escorted by Amy and John Appleberg. Zach plays football and runs track. His hero is Warren Buffett for all of his charitable works. He also follows Twitter, and the hashtag that would best describe him would be hashtag let's go. His family and friends are the things he can't live without because they are always there for him. Next is Nick Bonardelli. Nick is escorted by Dawn and Jeff Bonardelli. Nick loves to shop. And he follows Instagram because he thinks the photos are interesting. The one thing he can't live without is his debit card. And a hashtag that describes him is hashtag Fabulux. He says that his heroes are both of his parents because they have taught him about life and he wouldn't know what to do without them. Our third senior representative is Josh Springsteen. Josh is escorted by David and Lisa Springsteen. Josh is employed at Fenton House and he enjoys deer hunting. His favorite quote is, for every dark night, there is another brighter day ahead. His quote fits his hashtag, which would be hashtag optimist. His dream job is to be a counselor or a therapist because he enjoys helping people. And his hero is his mom because she continues to smile even through rough times and has shown him that positivity can make a difference. Our final senior representative is Cole Tunningly. Cole is escorted by Suzanne Pierce. Cole participates in quiz bowl, drama, marching band, jazz band, and his own garage band, Team Lisa. If he created a hashtag to describe himself, it would be hashtag reading is cool. And his favorite author is Kurt Vonnegut Jr. Cole cannot live without spaghetti because he's a vegetarian and that's half of what he eats. Cole's favorite quote of his life philosophy is by writer Samuel Beckett, who said, there's man all over you, blaming on his boots the faults of his feet. Congratulations to all of our representatives. Unfortunately, last year's King David Doyle couldn't be with us tonight because he's attending college in Florida. I don't feel sorry for him. But Mr. Calito will be crowning our king. So it is my pleasure to announce that the 2014 homecoming king is... Oh, 
Congratulations, Zach. Thanks again to everyone who helped with the festivities this evening. Go Eagles! Thank you, Dr. George. I'd like to remind everyone that our concession stand is open with warm, delicious goodies. And we will be starting the third quarter shortly. Katie Bukowski taking for the juniors. The kick is off. Katie Fahey has it around the left side. Moringa on the takedown. Very nice tackle. Back at the 30 yard line. Or it's going to be first and 10 seniors from the 30 yard line. A quick snap, a direct snap to the backfield. It's one of the green girls, number 15, up the middle.
Brought down by a little bit on the last play. Grace Walterhouse coming towards the press box. Brought down right around the 49 yard line. Brought down by Cal Fournier. Kaylee Grant. Walter House takes a snap. On the reverse. Back to one of the green girls. Brought down at the 41 yard line. Sam Green on the carry. Brought down by Kaylee Brandt. Walter House on the inner out of the double reverse. Dropped in the backfield for a loss. <laughs> Walter House on the keeper, up the sidelines. Still on her feet. Brought down by number 16. Brings up a third and short, like a third and three from the 34 yard line. Walter House with the pitch to the outside. Brought down by Lil Bill. Adriana Villanueva. Brought down, or on the carry was Gabby Main, Gabrielle Bryson. Walter House throws it to Gabrielle Bryson. Over the left side, over the middle. Touchdown, seniors. Another six points for the seniors. And they will attempt their two point conversion. two-point conversion by Gabby Main, Gabrielle Bryson. Making your score seniors 22, juniors 6, five minutes left in the third quarter. for the seniors.
by Samantha Pollitt and Sam's back. Nice return. The juniors take over first and ten from their own 44 yard line. Makai Ash in a quarterback with a pitch to Taylor Smith around the outside, runs out way in the backfield by Kaylee Corcoran. It's going to be a second and long for the juniors. Look out of Ash and the keeper brought down in the backfield. By number 15, Thunder Green. Miranda Green. That brings up a third and long for the juniors. Makaya Ash with the pass over the middle. Incomplete. Bringing up a fourth and long for the juniors. Pitches to Taylor Smith around the outside again, cutting up the sideline, still on her feet. Coming around the outside, that is going to be a turnover on downs, first and ten for the seniors. Bring us to the end of the third quarter. Maybe. Seniors are going to get a playoff here. Snap. And a miscommunication in the play. And a touchdown for the seniors. Brenna Howard on the carry. Touchdown, Seniors. The two point conversion from Walter House to Megan Kenny. Actually, that was Olivia Kirky, the quarterback, on the pass to Megan Kenny. Bring us to the fourth quarter. Seniors will be kicking to the juniors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your out of town scoreboard brought to you by Murphy Laundry tonight. The Byron score is seniors 34, juniors 6. And in Slippery Rock, you have seniors 12, juniors 14. 
Again, that was your out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Murphy Laundry. Ashley Peck kick for the seniors. Kenny Yugowski coming around the outside. She cuts it up the middle. One move, two move. Put down a midfield. By number 15. Lauren Cadillac Cadillac on the touchdown saving tackle. It's going to be first and ten. Here's we're marking off the penalty. Now it's first and ten. On the junior, senior 40 yard line. Wango in a quarterback. Takes a snap. The quick pitch, the double reverse. Morgan White on the carry with a nice run for a first down for the juniors. takes a snap, quick pitch to Negalosi, brought down in the backfield. By number 15, Brianna Nader, Orange Shoes defensive end. Brianna Sutherland. Wango back for the snap. Quick pitch. Katie Wachowski around the outside. Cuts it towards the end zone. Touchdown, Wachowski. Ice KK Fish on the carry. The juniors will now line up for their two point conversion. Kayla's pass deep into the end zone, incomplete. Intended for the captain, Morgan White. The juniors will now be kicking off to the seniors.
Seniors take over on the 30 yard line. Walter House on the keeper. Walter House still on the keeper. Brought down in the backfield. And there is a flag on the play. We have a push on the seniors where they will back them up. See that's a five yard powder puff penalty. Backing them up right to the goal line. It's going to be first and forever. Walter House around the far side. Cuts back up the middle where she is brought down. And we have another flag in the play. Madison Wobble on the stop. Wable pulls the flag. Five-yard penalty on the juniors. The end of the play. Oh! Gentlemen, give a warm round of applause to Gabrielle Bryson, Gabby Main. Topping that one out. Going to be third and long for the seniors. Oh 
Walter House is back at quarterback. In reverse. Megan Tenney coming around the outside of the stiff arm and the flag is pulled at the 40 yard line. We think Jay Hola was on the stop. Walter House around the right side, up the middle on the keeper. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Pizza Queen Taylor Bittner. minutes 25 seconds left in the first quarter score is seniors 30 juniors 12 juniors will take over first and 10 from the 42 yard line fish on the carry. down in the backfield. Smith up the middle, still on her feet. Brought down at the 40 yard line with 52 seconds left. Alexis Brandt on the stop. Timeout. Juniors. Jocelyn Wheeler, will you please raise both hands? Jocelyn Wheeler, please raise both hands. Jocelyn Wheeler, please raise both hands. 
I have a question for you, Jocelyn. There's a boy named Alec who climbed all the way up the stairs to ask if he could ask you to homecoming tonight, tomorrow night. Jocelyn, will you go to homecoming with Alec? Circle yes or no. She circled yes. Face to face dancing only, please. Junior, snap the ball. The pitch tour. With 18 seconds, the juniors are in their hurry up offense. I'd like to thank all participants. I'd like to congratulate the juniors on a game well played and the seniors on their victory. I'd like to ask both teams to line up and show their team spirit by shaking hands with the other team. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, we'd love you to leave Quad Cranston Field the way you found it. So if you have any garbage near you, we'd greatly appreciate if you pick it up. We would also greatly appreciate after you get your quick photos tonight that we scurry to the parking lot because all of our students have to go to school tomorrow. Have a great night. Be safe.